chill tonight? Y'all get some weed or something. Let's come. Let's do something. Man. Y'all want to do something tonight? I didn't even go out last night because I had my daughter. But I wanted to go out, but then I had my daughter. Then when I came, I took them to the movies. And then when I came home, what nobody talked about shit. Man. I didn't even go out. Like but tonight's Sunday. That's a different night, though. You know what I'm saying? What y'all trying to do? Because if not, I just go kick on my little white girl lawyer. You know, little cute little lawyer. I can just go chill with her. You know. Always oh, a Sunday. We get to. <laughs> hey guys, start submitting your um, questions. I can only be live for a few minutes. Um, I have somebody coming to do like a little interview. So I'm going to be cleaning up and like answering your questions all at the same time. What's up, what's up? I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. What is this new wave thing? How do I wave back? (laughs) What's up, guys? Submit your questions because I'm only here for like 10, 15 minutes. Is it possible to beat a DUI if they took a blood sample? Um, well... One thing that I always have to explain to people is when you say beat a case, that could mean many different things. That could mean, it, it depends on what your goal is in the case. Are you Is the goal not to do jail time? Is the goal to get it completely dismissed? Because sometimes that's not, you know, reasonable expectation given the circumstances. So when you say beat, um, you know, it it's not outside of the realm of possibility that You can get um, a DUI case dismissed based on blood samples. It's going to depend on what the BAC was. Um, Because obviously there's there's science that you can argue, you know, like rising blood alcohol levels. Um, So if your attorney is good and can get, you know, some experts in and show that the BAC actually rose from the time that you were stopped to the time that the blood was taken... It's possible. It is possible. It's just going to cost you money, that's all. Let's see. I love you guys, too. I appreciate the love. What's up, guys? Love. What's up, guys? That's all we got today? Just a DUI question? I know you guys got more questions than that. Because you guys stay in my DM with the questions. So now's the time to ask. I'll actually answer it here. What is this new feature with the wave? How do I do that? Any direct affiliates or colleagues in the Bay? No, but... You know, the Bay is California. I can still actually, um, I can take cases in the Bay. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more pricey than some local attorneys because it's going to have to cover um, travel costs and stuff like that. But um, I don't think I have any associates directly in the Bay. But I can take cases out there. Let's see. When are we going on our first date? (laughs) That's a good one. (laughs) Also, just a little bit of game for you gentlemen out there. Um, Women like for you to plan it. So this has nothing to do with law, but I'm going to spit some game for you guys. If you are about to go on a first date, you better plan it all, and it better be creative as fuck, and don't make the bitch have to make any decisions other than what she's going to wear. And even that sometimes... I like to be told, like, no, bitch, you're going to wear this. Get in the car. We're going. This is where we're going. Shut up. You'll see when we get there. That's the type of shit that we like. Like, you need to figure it out. You need to get it handled. And I'll be there, and that's it. So that's some game for you guys. And I guarantee you, uh, almost every woman wants it that way. In the right direction of stock. What are you talking about? Like, the stock exchange? 
I'm not a stockbroker. Wrong Instagram. <clears throat> so, the question, how can I get a restricted license only for work? So, when you get a DUI, you're dealing with two separate entities. You're dealing with um, the DMV, which is an administrative agency, and then you're dealing with the criminal court system. So, with the restricted license, it's never the court that's taking your license or restricting your license. It's never, ever the court. That's actually the DMV. So, I believe it's, I believe you have 10 days after a DUI arrest where uh, you can schedule a hearing with the DMV, and that's, a, you deal with that, that with them. You have a DMV hearing. Usually, they're going to take your license, but um, I've done some DMV hearings where I've been successful. So, that's something that you would have to take up with the DMV, actually. But I, you definitely can. In most cases, you can get a restricted license. Um, to go like to and from work or to and from school. They don't want to hinder you from being productive or responsible, so. Is the LSAT hard? It's not hard, it's just, it's tricky. Like, the shit that they ask you is, they ask you like the weirdest shit. Um, and then there's really no way to, like, study for it, because it's not like, when you're studying for the LSAT, you're studying for your brain to think a certain way, and problem solve a certain way, and I'm used to studying, like, memorizing, I'm used to, like, the memorization type of studying, so, the it's not hard, it's just different, um, and one thing that I would have done differently is I would have taken a course, um, to help me prepare. I studied on my own, and I got a good score, but I probably would have done a lot better had I enlisted some help and gone to a class or, you know, something like that. How long does it take you to reach your level of expertise? Well, to be a lawyer, you have to have, first, you have to have a four-year degree um, in anything. So you can have a four-year degree in fucking zoology, I don't, I don't know, anything. You have a four-year degree in anything and go to law school. Obviously, they um, they recommend, you know, philosophy, criminal justice, stuff like that. But I actually did my four-year degree in nutrition, which has nothing to do with the law. But, so that's four years, and then law school is three years, and then, you know, the... The amount of years it takes to reach a level of expertise in this in this field, it's just um, mostly it's just education, and then from there it it is what you make it, and you kind of learn as much as you want to learn. A lot of people become a lawyer, and they're happy sitting at their desk doing the same thing for years and years, and then other lawyers want to get out there and learn new things every day. So it just depends. That is snow bunny in the login. It's my thank you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> weed charge. Can they charge me in two different states for the same weed? Um, obviously, you know, if you get caught in California with an amount of weed that's not legal here, then obviously if you didn't take it over to the next state and it's not like a federal issue, then the other state doesn't have jurisdiction to prosecute you over that weed that was never in that state. So that's kind of a vague question, and it's just going to depend on what the circumstances were. I, I guess I would need to know the um, the details. Usually, when it when it has to do with like you driving weed across state lines, it's, it's going to be a federal issue. The DMV is a pain in the ass. I just had to go there on Wednesday and get a new driver's license since my fucking purse got stolen. Trademark issue work. I do. I'm actually doing um, my, the trademark for my gym, the Fortune Gym. Um, Pacquiao actually trains there. And I'm doing some of the contracts for the Pacquiao fight. So I do dabble in trademark and contract and entertainment law. I just try to do it criminal only because that's what I enjoy. And um, I don't want to overload myself. You know. But I do. I, I can do trademark work. Um, my my fee for trademarks is typically 1500 
and get your trademark to that too. Trying to learn, educate myself in law just to know when a pig is trying to play me. Well, when it comes to that type of stuff, it's constitutional law. So just read up on the, the Fourth and the Fifth Amendment, you know, read about probable cause. Um, the best thing to do is just cooperate and then let your lawyer fight it, to be honest with you. Because the cops aren't going to, the cops aren't going to listen and, um, you know, think that you know what you're talking about. What are you wearing today? Let me see the fit. It's an Adidas polo and some suede pants. And then I got the, the flip. Right. <laughs> What's on the agenda today? Well, um, I was going to go see my girl Gangsta Boo in the studio, go hang out with her for a little bit, maybe eat, take her some food. Um, this, and then I have somebody coming to do a little interview, um, so he should be here any minute, so just chilling, just chilling, probably do a little bit of work later. How much do you charge? You guys, every case is different, you know, I can't, I'm not going to charge a DUI the same amount that I would charge a murder, so my... My retainers are based on where the courthouse is, that your matter is being heard, um, the charges. Sometimes it'll depend on your criminal history, um, and then how far along the case is. So if we're already past the prelim, we're about to, you know, we're in the pretrial, about to go to trial, usually I'll charge a little bit more because it's more of an uphill battle. I gotta kind of fix all the fucked up work that your previous attorney did. So it, there's different factors, it just depends on all of that stuff. A lot of thirsties on this live. I know I do get a lot of thirsties. I'm used to it though, and it's all love. You guys are coming from a good place. I'm not I'm not gonna get all mad at that. Let's see. I don't know anybody in St. Louis. I'm sorry. I really just have um I really only have contacts in California when it comes to law and New York. I have some New York contacts, but other than that, I really, you know, I really only know the lawyers that I see on a regular basis or the lawyers that I went to law school with. Hi, CJ. Go to your phone, Shared. Check the bitch ass. I'm just kidding. I love you. So why are you not in nutrition? Because you look like you take good care of yourself. I'm not in nutrition because... Um, it's not challenging enough. I did it for a year, so I worked as a full-time nutritionist for a year before I became an attorney, and I worked for a supplement manufacturer, and I was in charge of, um, cancer studies in India and stuff like that, and it was cool. It was really cool. I did enjoy it, but, um, it was the same thing every day, and it was, it was never a challenge, and it was, in my life to feel fulfilled, I feel like I need to, like, overcome things constantly has to be a challenge because, you know, anything that I accomplish, if it wasn't challenging, then it's not fulfilling to me. And with law, it's a different case. All cases are different. Each case is different. There are this. There are different hurdles in each case. Um, and I'm able to use my experience that I build on from every other case to handle the new cases differently. And that's what's, what I love so much about the law. And then also I just really love the power that comes with being an attorney. Um, I've always been super bossy when I was a kid. So I, it's just a, a career that I feel like I really fit with. So I, I love it. I'll never be anything other than an attorney. Shout out to everybody from everywhere showing love. That's really dope. I love you guys too. I was not all in your DMs. You shut your damn mouth. My brother's facing four counts right now. More to come. He just court less than a week away. How much would you charge? 
So OB90745, you need to hit my DM and give me um, some more details. I can't quote you if I don't know what the charges are or what the courthouse is or what the, the details are. So if you're serious about a quote, I'm more than happy to discuss that with you, but you gotta you gotta hit me up and give me a little bit more info so that I can quote you. I do have several hearings next week, but um, I I'm sure I can figure it out. I can I can figure it out if you really are serious about retaining me. France, yeah, uh, I don't know anything about French law. I'm assuming that it's similar to ours. I'm sure you guys have like a constitution and shit, but um, I can't help you in France. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, I am only in California, you guys. Um, Vegas. I might have some connects in Vegas, and you know what? If it were if it were a case that where it's like you you absolutely just want me on the case, and um, it's at the beginning of the case, what I can do is um, do something called pro hoc vice where I request with the Vegas court to be kind of like grandfathered in. And then even though I'm not licensed in Nevada, they would allow me to handle the case. It'll it'll be a little bit more expensive than hiring a Vegas or a Nevada attorney. But um, I've done it before in Ohio. So um, that's an option if, if you're willing to pay the extra container. When do cops have to read you your Miranda rights? Um, cops only have to read Miranda rights when you are under custodial interrogation. So Miranda rights are meant to protect you from making incriminating statements without your attorney there. So if they're asking you questions that are likely to elicit an incriminating response and you're in custody, not meaning arrested, but in custody meaning that a reasonable person would not feel free to leave. So, you know, like they have you standing with your feet apart facing the fence, or they have you sitting in the back of the cop car without even without cuffs. That would that I would argue that that would be considered custodial. So custodial interrogation. Handcuffing you doesn't matter. That has nothing to do with Miranda rights. Um, an arrest has nothing to do with Miranda rights. It's all about are they trying to get you to incriminate yourself. That's when they need to read you your Miranda rights. Do public defenders for real work with the DA because mine seemed like he was railroading? Well, so there's, I mean, here's the thing, is there, there are public defenders who actually 100% care and are out there doing good work. There's public defenders that are just there for their paycheck. And then there are public defenders that, you know, really don't give a fuck. Um, obviously, the DAs and the and the PDs are working in the same buildings. They see each other all the time, so they may have a friendly relationship. And sometimes that could come, that can work to your advantage as a defendant. Because if I'm friends, if I'm like buddy buddy with the DA, he or she is more likely to work with me and give me what I want because she like he or she likes me as a person. So. To answer your question, no, public defenders aren't all working with the DA, but at the same time, they they have a packed um, calendar, and so they typically, if they think that something's a good deal, will push you to take it because A, they have 200 other cases to get to, and B, they don't have the time that a private defender does um, to, you know, look at all the evidence and balance their all the routes for relief and file motions and work hard on it. They don't they just simply don't have the time to do that in each case. So I can see where you guys would think that, where you'd think that all the public defenders are really working for the DA. It's a conspiracy, but it's not like that. It's just they have a really heavy caseload and some of them don't care. That's what it is. It's public defenders don't have the same time that private attorneys do to actually fight the case. How am I not married? Well, I'm actually divorced. Um, I think I've told you guys that before. But I'm not married because my career comes first, and I've been very, very busy building that. 
and I just, I don't have time for bullshit, so I piss a lot of people off immediately, the minute I smell bullshit, so that's why. I'm hearing you're a fucking pit bull in the courtroom, that's what we call them in Philly, yeah, I've been called that here too, pit bull, um, what's your sign, my sign is cancer, I'm cancer, June 25th, 1987. Any advice for current law students? Current law students, it's a marathon, not a race. So that's that's what I would tell you guys. You just um, try to keep your composure. Um, it's it's gonna fly by, but um, and also more than your grades, I think that um, making connections, making connections in law school is even better than getting straight A's um, because you're gonna. Those connections are going to come in handy later on. So go to like every go to every um, event that you can that you know attorneys and judges are going to be there because those those are going to come in handy later on. And yes, I do do plea consultations. I do. Hey, all right, guys, gotta go. If you want to consult. Hello. Hello.